This is our basic prolordotic neck pump exercise. It acts as our warm-up exercise. It should be done first before any of the other exercises. Start by holding the prolordotic neck exerciser behind the neck as shown. Keep the palms of your hands pointed outward and slowly extend both of your arms forward, relaxing and allowing your neck to be pulled forward at the same time. Try to fully extend your arms, thereby pulling the lower neck fully forward into flexion. If any neck or upper back pain is felt during the extension of your arms, stop at that point. Over time, you should be able to go further and further without pain. Once the lower neck is pulled into full forward flexion, actively pull your head into full extension, thereby completely stretching out the front neck soft tissues. Only pull your head into full extension if it can be accomplished in a pain-free manner. If any pain is felt before full extension, stop at that point. Again, over time, you should be able to go further and further without pain. Your fully extended hands can be slightly moved backward and forward with your head extensions to create a pumping motion to the exercise. Start this neck lordotic pump exercise with the prolordotic neck exerciser pulling into the lower neck region. After three or four repetitions, change the position of the exerciser and the anterior or front angle of pull so that you are pulling into the middle neck region. After three or four repetitions, again change the position and anterior or front angle of pull so that you're pulling into the upper neck region. You should perform this exercise the same as the basic prolordotic neck pump exercise, except this time you should hold the full arm and head extension for 5 to 10 seconds, and then repeat this exercise into the lower, middle, and upper neck, just like you did with the basic prolordotic neck pump exercise. Since there are six intervertebral joints in your neck, the prolordotic neck pump exercise can be performed in a six-step process, starting in the lower neck region and moving up to the upper neck region with three or four repetitions at each level. Be sure to move your arms higher and higher as you work your way up the neck. Start by performing the neck pump exercise into the lower neck region and after you have fully extended your head, move it into left and right full lateral flexion or side bends. If any pain is felt as you bend your head to each side, stop at that point. Over time, you should be able to go farther and farther without pain. Perform three or four times and repeat in the middle and upper neck regions. Start the neck pump exercise into the lower neck region and after you have fully extended your head, move it into left and right full rotation. Again, if any pain is felt as you turn your head, stop at that point. This exercise is especially important for people that suffer from chronic upper neck or headache pain because it helps to strengthen the front muscles of the upper neck region. Research has shown that people with chronic headaches usually have a weakness of these muscles. Start by placing the prolordotic neck exerciser into the upper neck region right at the base of your skull and now chin tuck. Hold the chin tuck position and retract or move your head straight backward against the resistance of your hands pulling the prolordotic neck exerciser slightly forward. Your hands can be slightly moved backward and forward with your head retractions to create a pumping motion to this exercise. Repeat 10 to 12 times. These last two exercises should only be performed if you have a flattened upper thoracic back region. 
and or retracted shoulders. Do not perform these last two exercises if you have an increased side curvature of the upper back region. Start by performing the neck pump exercise into the lower neck region and after you have fully extended your arms, keep your head level and flex or arch your upper back like a cat arches its back. Hold this upper back stretch for 5 to 10 seconds and relax. Your fully extended hands can be slightly moved backward and forward with your upper thoracic flexion to create a pumping motion to this exercise. Repeat 10 to 12 times. Stand and place the prolordotic neck exerciser behind your buttocks, holding it with your palms facing outward and forward as shown. Keep your arms straight and your head extended and rotate your arms inward until your thumbs meet in front of your body. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds and relax. Repeat 10 to 12 times. It is not uncommon to experience some soreness of the neck and upper shoulders after starting to perform these exercises. This muscular soreness should not be intense or last more than a few hours after use. If your reaction is more severe, you are probably performing the exercises too aggressively or are doing too many repetitions. If reducing the repetitions and the force does not reduce your post-exercise soreness, discontinue use and consult your doctor or therapist.